This video will go over basic tunnel creation. So we'll start with a blank project in TVC and we'll open up the new tunnels tab. From here we can see the workflow is generally laid out from left to right that we want to follow. This mirrors the existing roading workflow in TBC. It starts with alignment creation, then a corridor is created which is associated with an alignment. This corridor is then a container for created cross-section geometry and stations along the alignment it's assigned to. Ignoring the import and export for now, we'll go into the first step which is create tunnel alignment. This is the same alignment functionality that already exists in Trimble Business Center if you're familiar with it. An alignment created through tunneling can be used for roads and vice versa. The only difference in the create tunnel alignment command is that after completion you are directed to create a tunnel corridor. So the first thing we need to do here is name our alignment, assign it to a layer, and then describe the geometry. So we'll go ahead and call this tutorial alignment. And we'll leave it on layer zero for now. So down here we have the option to define the individual segments. If we already had some existing line work, we can use that, but we don't. So we'll just go ahead and leave that there and select OK. So the first thing we'll focus on now is the alignment editor that opens up automatically down here. And we'll create our alignment by defining segments. So we'll just do a very simple alignment to start with. We'll simply create a line, uh, azimuth of 90 degrees, and a length of 100. We can see here a default value of 0 for the station, easting, and northing. Any blue text in the editor can be changed. So in this case, these three fields, in addition to azimuth and length, are editable. So we can see there we have a horizontal alignment. And we'll also go ahead and create a vertical alignment at this point. Again, very simple. We'll go to the end of it, station 100, and specify that as an elevation 0. So we have a flat alignment going straight 100 meters with 0 elevation. So we can go ahead and close that for now. You may have noticed once we finish with the Create Tunnel Alignment step, this Create Tunnel Corridor automatically opened for us. You'll see this as we go through the basic tunnel creation. When we complete one step, the next will automatically open. So we'll go ahead and name this tunnel corridor. We'll call it Tutorial Corridor. You'll see we have options here to select the alignment. In this case, we have the alignment we just created. If you had any other alignments in the project, then you could choose which one. Remember, as I said earlier, you can only have one alignment assigned to a tunnel corridor. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see it automatically brings us to the next step, which is to create the tunnel. You'll also notice we're starting to get some objects populated here in the Project Explorer. We have our tutorial corridor we just created underneath the corridors heading. We also have under our alignments, we have the tutorial alignment we created. This is the horizontal alignment. And below that, we have the vertical alignment. So you can see here that even though this alignment is assigned to the corridor, these are standalone objects that exist outside of the corridors. So again, we'll go in here and name our tunnel. We'll call it Tutorial Tunnel. And we have the option to assign it to a corridor if we have multiple corridors in the project. In this case, we only have the one. At any moment, if you want to create new tunnel objects from a preceding step, then you can go in and create new ones, and it'll take you back to that command. There's also some other options down here. A station interval, which will be used as a viewer, and how we apply the template. I won't get into this here as there's a good help topic on it, but this has to do with how the templates are orientated to the alignment or to the earth, straight vertical. So we can hit OK at this step, and we'll bring it to the Create Tunnel template. So we'll name our first template, template 1, and remember these templates will be used to store um, one or more shapes. Again, we have the option to assign it to a tunnel if we have multiple. And we have the ability to copy any existing templates we might have. In this case, we don't have any. Since this will be our first template, we'll assign it to a template position. This is purely optional. And if we didn't do it here, we have the option to go back and assign any template to any position along the alignment later using the add template position command. So we'll go ahead and put 0. Um, we can change that later. And we're putting 0 because our alignment starts at 0. So we can see our tunnel object starting to be populated more. 
We have our corridor that we created. Underneath that is our tunnel. We have our collection of templates where we only have the one template we created. Under template positions, we have our template one assigned to station zero. Here we get into our create tunnel shape. I'll go ahead and name this shape one. And again, similar to the template and tunnel, we have options to assign it to the tunnel, to a template, and to copy shapes if we have any in our project. Again, in this case, we don't, so we can leave that there and hit OK. And this will open our template shape editor, where we can start creating the geometry of our first shape.